Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all doing great today. Packing and unpacking my suitcase on a daily basis goes hand in hand with a life as an airline pilot. Most layovers take two or three days and can be compared to a weekend trip. And in this video, I will tell you how I pack for a weekend trip and provide you with some tips and tricks as well. If you travel often, you probably realize it's beneficial to reduce the overall weight of your luggage. And you will face a lot less hassle if you do so. For example, you won't be charged with any last moment overweight fees during check-in. So how can you reduce the overall weight? Start with the suitcase itself, obviously, because it is the biggest factor when traveling light and efficient is your goal. So which suitcase should you go for? There are a couple of important things to take into consideration. I usually make sure all my items fit in just one cabin size carry-on. That way I make sure my uniform and personal items arrive at the same destination as I do. So go for a suitcase that is big but not too big to carry on board. Usually the airlines use the following size for their economy class allowed carry-on, which is 55 by 40 by 23 centimeters. As you can see, I'm using this carry-on from Carl Friedrich. It's a polycarbonate hard shell with an aluminium frame, which is extremely durable. It has two TSA approved locks and it is very important to use TSA approved locks since customs need to be able to open your luggage. The handles are made of leather and you can even add your own initials. Below the handle you have access to two USB ports that are connected to the removable power bank inside the carry-on. The wheels work excellent and as you can see I went for the black one, but there are other colors available as well. This lifetime warranty is the icing on the cake. And in case you want to get one yourself, I am delighted to offer you a 15% discount code. So check out the description of this video for more info about that. When you fly with low cost airlines, it is very likely that the airport ground staff counts the carry-ons. And when the airplane has been fully booked, a maximum amount of carry-ons are allowed on board. Once this cap has been reached, the remaining carry-ons have to be loaded in the hold. In order to reduce the chances of your luggage ending up in the hold, you either have to book priority boarding or join the queue early on. If you are still required to store your hand luggage in the hold, you should take out your valuables and any devices containing a battery. Don't forget your keys, your passport and uh, lock your carry-on. And have you ever heard of packing cubes? I learned about those a couple of years ago and they are a true lifesaver. Packing my suitcase became so much easier and a lot less time consuming. Packing cubes come in loads of different shapes and sizes and they enable you to keep everything neat and organized while at the same time using the least amount of space possible. In case you don't yet own a couple of packing cubes, try rolling up your clothes instead of uh, stacking them in order to save some space. If I have to operate a flight myself followed by a layover, I wear my uniform and easily store all the required items in my carry-on. And whenever I am proceeding somewhere as a passenger with another airline, I make sure I wear uh, multiple layers of clothing. That way I can easily take everything along. So why not just check in a suitcase instead? Well, the thing is, my suitcase got already lost a couple of times and if you travel frequently, it becomes so much easier when you don't need to wait for your luggage to arrive at the baggage belt after each flight. That is why I try to fit everything in just one single cabin size carry-on. Consider leaving items at home which can be bought easily or which are more of a luxury. Face masks, lotions, high heels in different colors and shapes and accessories can take up a lot of space. And in my opinion, those are the items that you can easily leave without for a couple of days. So forget about the non-essentials. By now you're probably wondering which items I always carry with me, no matter where I'm going. Well, these are the items that I consider mandatory and they always fit in my carry-on. So let's start with my clothing. Obviously, uh, like I told you already before, the packing cubes, they are super important. So I make sure everything fits in one or two packing cubes. This time I'm only going away for two days, so like one packing cube will be fine. I fit it in here and that's it. Then I grab my shoes, like I always try to do something like sporty. I cannot guarantee that I will go to the gym, but at least I have the opportunity if I want to. So I put them here. Then. Obviously, I have my uh, toiletries 
and um, yeah, you cannot live without them as a woman. And as a man probably neither because you need gel and all that stuff. So yeah, they fit easily in here as you can see. Then I have my other accessories like shampoo and all that stuff which can fit in here as well in some way. Okay, then I consider this this one full. Here are my charges. I always make sure that I put um, my charges where I can see them so that I never forget them because it's super important. Also, I have my SSD card in there because I always bring my laptop with me. And what else? Yeah. Then the other compartment. First of all, I'm starting with my shoes. Normally, I also put my uniform in here, but right now I'm going to wear my uniform and take this suitcase along. So in that way, I just have my normal shoes inside here instead of the uniform shoes. So I can put them here. Then I have my uh, iPad. Sometimes it goes in my flight bag and other times it goes in my uh, luggage. So I can put them here easily. My wallet, very important. The camera, which is the G7X I already showed you a couple of times in my other videos, but yeah, <laughs> this is not sponsored by the, by the way. But this camera is like the best thing I ever bought. I already told you a couple of times, uh, but I record a lot of videos with this camera. It's easy to take along and it's light and doesn't take a lot of space, while a big DSLR will take a lot of space. So this one I always carry with me. Then of course my sunglasses. A lot of people ask me which sunglasses I use and uh, well, as some of you guys know, I wear the Clubmaster, I, get, I think that's what it's called, from Ray-Ban. And I have it now for, I think, five years. And I, it dropped thousands of times inside the cockpit. It hit thousands of things and it's still, well, it's still good. So really, I'm super happy with this one. And of course, the last item is the laptop, which is super important. I always take this item with me and um, yeah, it's simply something I cannot live without. Actually, today I'm going to put it in my flight bag because I'm having a flight later on and then a layover. So I just prefer to always carry this with me as close as possible. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna put it inside the suitcase right now, but the rest can be closed. Make sure your external battery pack is not fixed to your carry-on, since that's no longer allowed. So how do you pack your suitcase for a weekend trip? Is there anything you think I should add to this list? Please let me know in the comments below. Check out my Instagram for daily posts and stories about my aviation life and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Clicking the notification bell will ensure you never miss out any of my videos. I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.